guys, Lost Bladder. So I'm going to try to make a follow-up video to all of the how to fix battle eye videos that I've made. Um, so essentially, uh, that, what those videos were meant to do was to help you uh, if you were having trouble joining uh, Arma 2 servers, Arma 2 Arrowhead servers specifically, and even more specifically DayZ servers. Um, and I've tried to make a update video for that for people and you know I mean it pretty much did what it was meant to do but that's not really the problem people are having anymore the problem people are having is has to do with a core patch file uh, I figured this out due to a commenter on one of my videos I'll put him up now and uh, what he was able to do was he was able to figure out uh, what files he has to delete and uh, etc it's uh, you know it was a big help to me so I just wanted to make this video to try and uh, help anyone else out that's having any issues uh, being as uh, apparently a lot of people are still having uh, some some problems with this so first thing you want to do is just good practice you're going to want to delete your battle eye folders and secondly you're going to want to go for the core patch files which I will show you how to get to so first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to computer Local disk, programs, files, time 86. Gonna wanna, you're gonna want to locate your Steam folder, Steam apps, common. And these are the two folders you're gonna be working with. You're gonna want to go into Arma 2. You're gonna want to delete this battle eye. Oh wait, this battle eye here. Then you want to do the same for Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. This time in expansions folder. You're then want, going to want to go into both of these files really and just look for a core patch. Then while you're going to want to delete uh, all of the core patch files. You're going to want to do the same thing for Arma Operation Arrowhead 2, or Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into Steam. You're going to want to go to Arma 2, go to Properties, Local Files, Verify Integrity of Game Files. Once that's done, you're going to want to do the same for Operation Arrowhead. So now that you're done with that, that should solve the majority of problems that people are having uh, with getting onto DayZ servers. The last thing you're going to do is just make sure you run uh, both Arma 2 and Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead just to get into the games and so it downloads the BattleEye uh, files that are needed. Now for base Arma 2, what I recommend you do, well, I'm not sure if you need to or not, but what I recommend is you just try to get into multiplayer real quick. Let it do its thing. It's going to take a while because multiplayer for Arma 2 isn't really working anymore due to GameSpy going under. But uh, it will eventually load into the menu for multiplayer, and I recommend that you at least go this far to just make sure that everything everything's on point, Everything you, you have everything that you need really. So once you get this screen, it's pretty much just going to be paused. So you're just going to want to alt tab out, or you know, control alt delete. Go to task manager, and you know, just just end the task. Then you're just going to want to quickly run Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead also. For Operation Arrowhead, you're going to want to do the same thing as you did in Arma 2. Just go into this menu real quick. 
except you know this one doesn't crash which is great so you can actually just exit out of the game the only other thing that I can recommend that you do is download a daisy launcher like this one called daisy launcher uh, back in my day we used to have uh, daisy commander but that is no longer supported I, I remember talking about this in the previous video so I'll show you how to do that just real quickly so you're just going to want to go to this website I'll link it down in the description wait for it to download and want to just run it yes create desktop shortcut if you want I mean this is all pretty self-explanatory stuff now that you have daisy launcher you're gonna want to get that up and this will serve as kind of you know your daisy hub here it has everything you're ever gonna need uh, it'll show you different servers it'll show you what mods that you need to get onto them so what you're going to want to do is you could either just try to join them and it'll download uh, whatever mods you don't currently have or you can just go into the mods tab and get into here press download for, for the different mods that you don't have already join different servers this is a really uh, easy way to get on the to servers for DayZ uh, if you're having connection problems that's, that's, a, that's a whole different thing you're going to need to just you know adjust uh, your ping um, you know for the service it's showing you so that should pretty much cover any problems you're having with DayZ uh, if you do happen to have any other problems or if you've done this and you're still not able to get on please leave a comment I will try to help you as best as I can uh, I will do whatever I can given you know I have the time to try and get you onto a server uh, thank you guys for watching I hope I helped you some of you out at least uh, peace